is up guys, Tabby here and welcome back to my channel. So guys, if you did not watch my last video, please excuse my hair. Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> I have not been able to go to the beauty shop since quarantine and everything. And this is what we got to deal with right now. Um, I really just need to go ahead and go. I just, you know, meh. but guys, as you can tell, I am back with another book box battle and it is going to be between Alcrate, which is heavy and fairy loot. For those who don't know, these are two of my book box subscriptions. And this is the video I do every month to battle them out to see which box, in my opinion, did better this month. Now, these are the May boxes. Like I said, both of these boxes have been a little late due to the pandemic and everything, but they are finally here. So without further ado, I'm gonna battle these boxes. So if you are interested, keep watching and let's get into it. You know what, let's switch it up. I think I'm gonna go ahead and unbox Fairy Loot first this time. Right on top is the spoiler card with a very cool art print, definitely giving me Aladdin vibes. And the theme for May was Desert Dreams. Ooh, okay. Well, right on top, I see a 10, I think. And it says, we hunt the flame, the light in the darkness, the good this world deserves. This is definitely from We Hunt the Flames. And I love the design of this. It's so freaking pretty. So when you open it, there's like another little lid on top. That is amazing. Such a great usable item. I think I might end up putting my new coffee that I just got from Myth and Sips in this next to my coffee maker. So great start as always to the box. And next we have a pillowcase banner. Oh, it is a tea towel. I love the design of this. That is so pretty. And it says often the mightiest things have the humblest beginnings. S.A. Chakraborty probably said that wrong as usual now this is actually really big it almost seems kind of more like a banner than a tea towel um and it's not the softest material in the world but i definitely love the design of this and next we have a wooden spoon that says mur, mur, there's no such thing as just a story a lynn hamilton I think that's what that says. Again, I love the design of this. I don't know if I would actually want to use it. Like, I'm afraid that would like mess up the design and it's too cute to use. I almost wanna like hang it on my wall in the kitchen as decor. Next we have a candle and it says, the tribal desert inspired by an ember in the ashes by Sabah Tahir. Soy vegan two ounce from Wiccan Fable. So it looks like it's just a white candle. It doesn't have a scent on here, but it definitely smells good. It's kind of clean laundry detergent almost, if that makes sense. It smells good, so very cool. Next, we have a cute little pouch that says, you can't choose what happens to you, but you can choose who you become because of it. The Forbidden Wish, Jessica Howery cowrie so i think it might be a pouch you can put like your sunglasses in to protect him from getting scratched in your purse a perfect item for summer and i love the rainbow kind of effect it has very pretty and next we have some bath salts magic desert sand triple blend luxury bath salts relaxing and soothing sandalwood scents and it has ingredients and directions on here let's give it a smell Ooh. Ooh, they definitely have a wood scent. Very strong. They honestly remind me of my grandpa. Yeah. <laughs> it smells like my grandpa. <laughs> like, not in a bad way, but like, legit. This just made me think of my grandpa. Ooh, it's, it is strong, though. It, <laughs> Whew, clear your sinuses out. But I do like when we get bath products in these boxes, so I'll definitely give it a try. And next we have our monthly tarot cards, the Three of Cups, 
and the Four of Cups. Oh, now I can definitely tell these are from the Throne of Glass series. Gorgeous as always, we'll add them to my collection. But guys, we are finally to the book. Let me take it out of the pouch. And as always, we have a bookmark with the same cover as our spoiler card and a letter from the author with an art print on the back. Very pretty. I love to put these in the book when I'm done reading them. And the book this month is Girl, Serpent, Thorn by Melissa Bashardost. Maybe. I love this cover. Pink is my favorite color. So I love the color of this cover. Color of this cover. Did I say that right? Color of, yes, okay. But again, guys, check out the sprayed edges. This month we have some greenish sprayed edges. <sighs> Fairy loot, you are really spoiling me. I will never be able to buy a book from Barnes and Noble again. Totally just kidding. <laughs> that, is a, that is a lie. <laughs> <laughs> but I do, I do love the sprayed edges. Um, but it should be signed by the author. And yes, it is. Let's see what it looks like without the cover. Oh, so just kind of a grayish white with black on the spine. But again, as always, Fairy Loot has a reversible dust jacket. Let's take a look. Wow. That is so pretty and so detailed. God, I don't know how many times I've said it, y'all. I wish I could draw. I really do. I think this might be my favorite reversible dust jacket we've gotten so far this year. But I am gonna go ahead and read the description real fast. There was and there was not, as all stories begin, a princess cursed to be poisonous to the touch. But for Soraya, who has lived her life hidden away from everyone apart from her family, safe only in her gardens, it's not just a story. As the day of her twins' brother's wedding approaches, Sororia, how do I say it? Sorora, kind of reminds me of Aurora. So, okay. Focus. Sorora must decide if she's willing to step outside the shadows for the first time. Below in the dungeon is a demon who holds knowledge that she craves, the answer to her freedom. And above is a young man who isn't afraid of her, whose eyes linger not with fear, but with an understanding of who she is beneath the poison. Sorora thought she knew her place in the world, but when her choices lead to consequences she never imagined, she begins to question who she is and who she is becoming human or demon, princess or monster. Ooh, oh, now that sounds amazing. So I cannot wait to read this. Y'all, my TBR, the struggle bus is here because I've been watching Supernatural. Never watched it before. I'm on the second season, kind of creepy. Um, and I've been obsessed with it. So yeah, I have not been reading. <laughs> But guys, that is everything in the box. Let's take a quick look at Fairy Scoop. And as always, we have the interview with the author. Then we have the Fairy Loot Edition versus the Regular Edition. Definitely prefer the pink over the regular. And next month's theme, or June this month, we're almost caught up, guys. A different kind of magic. We all love magic, and this month we wanted to celebrate unique magic systems. Magic that is a little out of the ordinary, or not quite what you come to expect. You can expect items inspired by the Bone Season, Avatar The Last Airbender, The Starless Sea, which is one of the books I read in my 24-hour readathon, The Shadows Between Us, loved, Alice in Wonderland, and Blood Air, we are thrilled to reveal that this box will have two books. The second book in the box is a YA release that won't be released until spring 2021. And this beautiful paperback edition will have an exclusive foiled filled cover and sprayed edges. Fairy loot, you really do spoil us. <laughs> I cannot wait for next month's box now. Avatar The Last Airbender and The Shadows Between Us. Yes. Yes. But guys, that was the May box for Fairy Loot. As always, you guys will have to let me know what was your favorite item, least favorite. Definitely for me, I think the tin canister is my favorite item. I definitely think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this. My least favorite item would probably be the candle. Again, candles just aren't the most exciting item for me anymore. Now it is time to see if Owl Crate will outshine Fairy Loot. <laughs> 
that just came to mind. So on top, as always, is the spoiler card. The theme for May was Rebels with a Cause. Now tell me why is this cover giving me Avatar The Last Airbender vibes? We have water, earth, fire, and air. <laughs> is it just me? That's totally Avatar. Y'all, Avatar The Last Airbender is on Netflix. And if you have not watched it, watch it. It's one of my favorite series. First up, we have a pouch with something metal in there. And it says, so long as you fight the darkness, you stand in the light. Sabah to hear. I think that's an Ember in the Ashes quote. Let's see what's in here. It is a slew of metal straws. We have straight ones, rainbow ones, curved ones. Wow. That is a lot of straws. I love the rainbow ones. Plus it also did come with two cleaners. Very cool outgrade. That is awesome. And next we have our monthly enamel pin. For those who don't know, the enamel pin is based off the book that we get in the box. And this month it looks like we have some crystals. Very pretty. I love the sparkle reflectiveness of it. As always, I love their enamel pins. This is my second year collecting their enamel pins. So yeah, love getting to add it to my collection. Next it looks like we have a brown package. It says Alcrate Exclusive Juniper and Ivy Designs. It is a wooden magnet and it says, oh now this is the perfect quote for everything that is going on in the world right now and it says never allow yourself to believe you should be silent. That is perfect and so freaking true. I actually love when we get magnets so I am a fan of that, the quote, everything, just perfection, perfection for the world. And next we have some oven mitts. The first one says, may the stars keep you steady. The second one says, and the iron keep you safe. What is this from? Does it say? Little Inklings Design, Heart of Iron Potholder Set. I don't think I've read that, but I actually really like when boxes include kitchen items because it's so rare. And the design and color of these with kind of that galaxy design is so freaking cute. Heart of Iron. Have any of you guys read that book? Let me know in the comments down below if you've read it and what you thought of it. Should I add it to the mountain that is my TBR? Let me know in the comments. But next it looks like we have some stickers with I think bookish quotes. Hope in the shadow of fear is the world's most powerful motivator. Neil Shusterman, in a society that profits from your self-doubt, liking yourself is a rebellious act. Caroline Caldwell, you are your own best weapon. Marie Rudkowski. And the last one down here, I think, is actually in Spanish. So I'm not going to butcher that, but that's what it says. And I actually think these are vinyl stickers. Hold on, let me check. Place these vinyl stickers on your water bottle, notebook, and anywhere else that you could use a reminder to keep up the good fight designed by Nerdy Ink. So again, kind of another perfect item for kind of what's going on in the world right now. I definitely think I'm going to put this one on one of my new water bottles that I've gotten because my self-doubt, to be honest, is top notch. It could be the CEO of self-doubt. Write its own book and everything. <laughs> So yeah, I definitely love this quote. Something I need to remind myself. Um, so I actually really like this. I know stickers aren't like that big of an item or the most liked item in boxes, but I actually really like this. Oh, you guys, I forgot we were getting two books this month. So this is the first one. It says, what does that say? Oh, uh, Witchy by Ariel Slamet. Rees? And it says one, so I'm assuming this is like a series, but I'm actually really excited to read this. I think this will be the biggest graphic novel I've ever read, and it probably won't take me very long. Very cool art. Let's read the description real fast. In the Witch Kingdom, Hyalin, the strength of your magic is determined by the length of your hair. Those that are strong enough are conscripted by the witch guard who enforce the law in peacetime and protect the land during war. However, those with hair judged too long are pronounced enemies of the kingdom and annihilated. This is called a witch burning. I might actually take this to work tonight and any downtime I have, I might try to read this tonight. So I'll definitely have to let you guys know what I think of this. 
But guys, we are finally to the book and it is Incendiary by Zoraida Cordova, maybe? But if the title of this book sounds familiar, that is because it is the same book we got last month from Fairy Loot. So yeah, this was the Fairy Loot edition we got last month with the sprayed edges. So even though this copy is very pretty and it should be signed by the author, it is. But I definitely prefer the Fairy Loot edition over Owl Crates. I mean, especially because it has sprayed edges. So this edition will definitely be going in my giveaway box. And I'm actually not going to read the description again since most of you guys read it in my last book box battle. If not, definitely go check it out. So yeah, getting book duplicates is one of the risks you take in getting multiple book box subscriptions. So, okay. And it did also come with a letter from the author, which I'll put in the book. Um, but guys, that was everything from Owlcrate. Let's take a quick look at the spoiler card. And as always, we have an interview with the author. And then we have the Owlcrate exclusive cover versus the regular cover. Both are very pretty. Then we have the interview with the designer, which was Little Inkling Design, who did the pot holders. And then we have the Spotify playlist, which was Rebellion in Their Hearts, a playlist worthy of a revolution. So again, perfect, perfect, perfect for the world right now. Alcrate definitely picked the perfect theme for this box and just what's going on in the world and the mental state of everybody. So I definitely loved the theme of this box. But the theme of June's box is All the World's a Stage. Flip for sneak peek. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> the June box will contain an exclusive coffee from Bones Coffee Company. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, my coffee addiction. I love how y'all support my coffee addiction. <laughs> so, yay. Very excited. But guys, that was everything from Owlcrate. As always, you guys will have to let me know what was your favorite item, least favorite. I think my favorite items would have to be the pot holders and the metal straws. Very cool, usable items. I didn't really have a least favorite item. I liked everything in the box. Again, I just loved all the positive, empowering quotes that this box included. Like, you know, you shouldn't be silent. But is that enough to beat Fairy Loot this month? Hmm. That's a tough one because even though I love that Owlcrate gave us two books, for me personally, it was kind of only like getting one because I already have this one. Again, that's not Owlcrate's fault. That's just me. And I really loved the items and the book from Fairy Loot. Yeah, even though I think both boxes were really good, I would have to say the winner of this book box battle for May is... Drum roll, please. Fairy Loot. So yes, Fairy Loot is the winner of this book box battle. As always, Fairy Loot was just amazing. Their items were amazing. And the book kind of tipped the battle into Fairy Loot's favor. But as always, you guys will have to let me know, do you agree with my decision? Or do you think Owlcrate should have won? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. Feel free to hit that subscribe button if you want to join my small community of Harry Potter lovers and bookworms and I will see y'all next time. Bye guys. Descriptions <laughs> and this is the video and I don't know why I did that and might help if I cut it. Dang it where are my scissors? Good old quill. <laughs> Thank you quill. It's just so cute. <laughs> But I do. Oh, we already know this is Throne of Glass because of that right there. How am I blanking on his name? Alexa, what are the main characters in the Throne of Glass series? Blood, hair, 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 hair. But chick addiction, addition. Ooh, she can really dance. Ooh, you can really dance. Books in the um, boom, 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 boom. First.
Stars. Oh, May. Am I a witch? That, that can't be too long. No. No. Some of these pages don't even have words on them. I think... I think... Mm. Bye, guys. Mm-hmm. <laughs>